this is Pete Ski. We're going to take you through a relatively easy 6x6 six six and uh, talk about how we uh, put it together. Let's give ourselves the gimmies first. Uh, there's a 1 and there's a 5, 2. Sometimes I miss one of these going through, but it's of course easy to come back. Uh, some players like to use the bold feature over here to accent uh, numbers that they're definite about. See how the five is accented? I, I prefer not to do that, and I'll use the pencil to put in alternate numbers. Like here on 10, we know it has to be four and six, so I click the pencil and I put in four and six there. We know the 11 has to be five and six. So what does that do? We, the six is used up in that column, so we know that that's a four, and of course it matches with the six there. So let's look at some other things and see what we can do. On the very top two, we can add it up. Now, on a six by six, each column and each row adds up to 21. So when we have two of them, it's 42. So let's add up the first two columns. 10 plus eight is 18, plus six is 24, plus 12 is 36. So that leaves us six to get to 42. So we know the six goes there and the five goes there. We're left in this particular column with a two and a three, so let's go ahead and fill those in just so we uh, are mindful of those as we move along. Uh, down here we have a five and a six, the 11, and there's just the opposite of what's above it. There's a five and there's a six. Um, now six plus, it can either be a two, four combination or a one, five. Obviously here it can't be the two, four, so it's a one, five, and we already have the five, so we can put in a one, with certainty and a five uh, there. We also have the four six above. We also have a six there, so we can put in a four with certainty and the matching six, which leaves us only with a three to put there and finish out the column and a matching four for the seven plus. We're missing down here only the two and we can put in the three for the five plus. We're missing in this column the two and the matching six for an eight plus. Well, that went pretty quickly, didn't it? Um, so we'll slow down a little bit. We have now, uh, we know this is 5, so 11 and 5 is four is 16, so that leaves 5 more. So this has to be a, a 1 right there. So this leaves us in this column a 2, 3, and a 4. So let's go ahead and just fill them in so we're mindful again of what they are. Well, the 2's already there, so we can leave that out. It's a 3 and a 4, and we'll do this 2, 3, and 4. Uh, so let's look at the 10. What are the possibilities? It can be 3, 4 here, which is 7 and needs another 3. It can be 4, 2, which is 6 and needs a 4. Or it can be 3, 2 and needs a 5, but the 5 is already taken, so we know it can't be that. So it's a 3, 4. And we've already used the 4, so it has to be a 3. We can be definitive about that. We can be definitive now about that 4, and it requires another 3 to finish that off. Uh, that makes this a 2. And we have seven left. It can't be four three. It can't be five two. It has to be six one. And since the six is already taken there, we go one six. So we've had a one two three. So this has to be four five. We have the four there. We'll take the five. We'll add the four and we'll take the three there. Um, we're missing a one here. That gives us a four there. So this has got to be two three. We've got a two. And a three, one, two, three, four, this is five. And this can only be one, two. Uh, the two's already taken there, so we'll do the one. And we'll take the two, and we've got it.